as of today, about 2,750 red crown cranes are left in Japan. Although they are not seen as one of the most comforting or well-known animals, they are starting to become extinct because of our actions. Human destruction is the main death threat to a red crown crane. The development of cities and urbanization is killing these animals. Because of us, red crown cranes can no longer live and breed in their natural habitat. Because of us, our construction is causing wetlands to dry out. Because of us, these cranes are caught into electric wires and are slowly dying off. Although foundations and nonprofits are working tirelessly to save these animals, it is not enough. Without us, these cranes will die off and never be seen again. We only think about ourselves and don't think about how our actions affect others. Because of this, red crown cranes have to suffer the consequences that we cause. Reproduction is being limited, and the lifespan of these cranes is decreasing. We need to open our eyes and realize that they are helping us, and in return, we take their homes and destroy it for our own benefit. Blood is on our hands, and these cranes won't stop dying unless we do something about it. One person can make an influence, and we can save these cranes' lives. But how are we supposed to stop this and no one steps up to do it? We may only think about ourselves and the great cities we live in, but for every building, every skyscraper built in Japan, there is a crane fighting for its life. So the next time you think about urbanization and city development, stop and ask yourself, is it worth it? Thank you.